DLP chip replacement for Samsung part number 4719-001-997. Brought to you by ShopJimmy.com. Visit www.shopjimmy.com to search the hundreds of thousands of TV parts in our inventory. Please make sure that your TV is unplugged and that you are properly grounded. There are various ways to ground yourself, but the most common way is to use a grounding wrist strap. Take photos and notes often to help remember the location and orientation of the parts and wires. And feel free to pause and backtrack through this tutorial as much as needed. To be best prepared to replace the DLP chip inside of your TV, you will need the following materials. A pair of latex gloves, your shopjimmy.com replacement DLP chip, a pair of needle nose pliers, both a flathead and Phillips screwdriver, and a cup to hold all screws, clips, and any other small items. So let's get to it, shall we? Unscrew and remove the external support bars. Unscrew and remove the bottom panel from the back of your TV. Unscrew and remove the internal support bars. Remove all cables from the light engine. Take care not to use excessive force when removing cables. Exact locations of cables will vary depending on TV. Remove the screws holding the light engine in place. Carefully remove the light engine from the TV. Be sure to remove the cable attached to the main board. Before diving into your repair, please take a moment to locate the alignment arrow on the linearity ring. Make a mark on the ring that matches the tip of the arrow, as you will need to make sure that the alignment is the same after replacing the DLP chip. Remove the DMD board housing screws. Remove the fan behind the DMD board. Remove the DLP chip heatsink. Remove the back half of the DMD board housing. Remove the DMD board screws. Make sure to support the board as you remove the final screws. Unscrew and remove the linearity ring. Remove the DMD board from the front housing. Remove the DLP chip.
Before installing the new DLP chip, please verify that it is equivalent in appearance to the original DLP chip and that all part numbers are compatible. Compatible part numbers are listed on all relative ShopJimmy product pages. Remove all fingerprints and dust from the glass surface with a clean microfiber cloth. Install and lock your new DLP chip. Reinstall the DMD board into the front half of the housing. Reinstall the linearity ring. Reinstall the DMD board screws. Reinstall the back half of the DMD board housing. Reinstall the DMD board housing screws. Reinstall the DLP chip heatsink. Reinstall the fan behind the DMD board. Verify that the alignment arrow on the linearity ring is still pointing to the mark you made earlier. If it is not, toggle the three pan head screws until the arrow is pointing back at your mark. Reinstall the light engine into your TV. Be sure to reattach any cables that might be connected to the front side of your light engine. Secure the light engine with the corresponding screws. Reinstall all light engine cables. Take care not to damage any cables when reinstalling. Reinstall the internal support bars. Reinstall the bottom panel on the back of your TV. Reinstall the external support bars. Your ShopJimmy replacement DLP chip does not need any manual configuration in order to function properly. Simply plug in your TV, power on, and your TV will function as if new. Should you notice a slight distortion to the angle of your picture along the edges, please check to make sure that your light engine and DMD board are flush and secure within their housings. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. To help with your inquiry, please write down the ShopJimmy item number also provided on your screen.